Hey! You can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? station and don't look back. All right, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not going to say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world and you need a detective. The last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I guess, I guess my mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. <laughs> we? No, we? Oh, come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronan is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. It was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Uh, you better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. Same guy. Copycats. All of them. What if he's never caught? Does he just keep going? I wonder if I'm more of those historical blacks. Said nobody ever. Just have this feeling like something's watching.
about those cameras? Like in England? Love how everything's walkable in this town. I see exactly what I mean. Why is that so hard to understand? If she doesn't want to be in a relationship, she should be direct about it. I can't believe this! Are you happy now, asshole? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> you said I was the one. More like one of many. I don't even know what he sees in her. Oh, look at him. What a pig. He doesn't even feel guilty about what he did. Just look at him staring at her. Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Alright. I'll look into it. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. be a friend. She never anticipated this. It seems this was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is, he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is, your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything.
What was that? Everything in the shadows makes me jump. Guilty men watch their back. What are you afraid of? The thing all guilty men are afraid of. Damnation. I thought I could, uh, just eat a bullet and be done with it. I had no idea. But, uh, I couldn't take the pressure anymore. Pressure of what? Of someone finding out. People like you were always sniffing around here. Looking for clues to other cases. With every badge that walked through that gate, I could feel the noose tightening. <laughs> Turns out, I should have given myself more credit. She's still rotting, right where I left her. Yeah, laugh it up. There are people out there who deserve to know what you did. You didn't have to take it to your grave. We all take things to our grave. Even you. There are things, evil things, that roam here. You'd be wise to watch your back, too. I said, let's leave it at that. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just a place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Freaky 
ghost chick is shadowing me. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. You okay? I, I don't know. I was so drunk. And we both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next... I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. What? Forget it. I know I should go, but she might come back. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me. Still a whole lot of nothing. What are we missing? Maybe some combination of clues? Let's keep looking. Don't want to miss a clue. Can't you put some of this stuff together? Excuse me, but, uh... Did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure.
What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. dark in these bushes. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. This is all I can find. Wait a minute. There's something familiar about this. I need to get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. Body washed up on shore, so she was murdered upriver. But where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. Would be a needle stack. Crawling ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with... Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Please? You hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Shit. So what happened with Sophia? No, I haven't caught her yet. And why are you talking to me? Huh? Why are you back already? Or do you want me to track her down for you? No, I'm, I'm on it. He gets to go off and chase that girl and I get to stay here? Hanging out alone in a graveyard?
can't be that hard. Then you get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel or iron or something, but it's just like a fence, right? I mean, how much can it weigh? <clears throat> Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah. We always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston in the middle of the night. Just get your ass over here. Hey, no problem. But remember, this whole thing was your idea. Damn! This thing's got to be welded shut or something. No. I'm sure they have doors ready for easy access after they put dead bodies inside. Next time, remember the crowbar. Next time? Wait. Where's the flask? I thought you had it. No, you... D did you put it down somewhere? It's around. Just keep looking. It's essential equipment for a road trip, you know. Whose idea was this? This is not going to end well. Haven't had this much fun in... ever. At least it'll make a good story later. What's with all this crap? Crap? This is my great-grandfather's stuff from the war. It may look like crap because it's old, but it's amazing. Blood cake bayonets, gruesome letters about the war. I even had a sip from his old flask. It made me realize how soft people have gotten. Compared to what? Compared to men like him. Don't you see? Finding all this stuff was a sign that I should be the one to remind people. To make them choke on their own blood. Please don't tell me you went through with it. I had it all planned out. But I died before I could. Just one more day and I could have changed the world. Listen, whatever you think this is about, it's not. Your great-grandfather fought to stop wars, not inspire them. I just let it go and move on. If you don't understand, you're just a part of the problem. People like you will never understand. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Uh, does this look okay to you? Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before or after the famous trials. It actually happened a few decades before, so this graveyard is quite old. Okay, and we're going to walk a little farther now, so if you'll just follow me. Hey, buddy. You got a problem? You could say that. I used to be a butcher before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping around. People used to come from miles away to buy from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? 
Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life? Then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. She brought this on herself. I felt a chill. Was it a ghost? Wonder if it's really haunted. Probably the scandalous stuff they can't talk about. There's so much more than witches in this town. So peaceful now. But some terrible things happen to these people. I think they really like this part. Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest... are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. Leave me be, I'm working. Why were all those people sick? 
I, I think it's yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. S something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiments. <coughs> What do you mean? This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death. <coughs> I'm too tired to fight. I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Uh, oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> I can't talk right now. Can't you see this man is in pain? Just hold on, will ya? No one should end up like this. I wish I could agree, but it's all my fault. I let people believe that I was something I'm not. They called me a war hero, but I was just a coward. For years, I'd retell gruesome war stories of how I crushed the enemy. But 
they were just lies I told in exchange for free drinks at the bar. I never saw any combat. Oh. Well, it pissed somebody off to get here. He was going to expose me for the fraud I was. So I tried to kill him. But he found out before you could do it. He and some buddies dragged me out here and left me to die. No one ever came looking for me. Too ashamed, I suppose. I don't be so hard on yourself. I've put away men a lot worse than you. That damn flask has brought nothing but trouble. This is Travis the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Now because of the scary history of this town, it's a hotbed for ghosts. Are some of the tortured souls, the screaming phantasms from this town's past, still haunting this graveyard? Screaming phantasms? Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut! Dwayne, how many times have I told you, don't correct me on camera? But you can't say that on the show, man. People will laugh. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, sorry. Just start again. All right, roll it. Travis the Trapper here, and we're in Salem. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history to this place, there's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity here. What? What was that? Definitely a paranormal event. I heard it too. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? Wait! It's over there now! Gotta sound more tough on this take. Oh, he's got the moonlight behind me. Who actually watches this show? It would help if you knew what you were talking about. Field trip gone wrong? No, no, no! Why'd you let the door shut behind you? What are you talking about? Mm. The door only opens from the outside. Now you're locked in here too. If I miss my classes or get caught trespassing, I could lose my scholarship. They need to let me out. You mean that this isn't even yours? Of course not. It's starting to creep me out to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just try the door again, only this time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, when you get out, your glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. Whatever, old man. I'll figure it out myself.
cold out here. Yeah, probably should have brought our warmer jackets. So... You think the witches can win the division this year? How can witches? Oh, you mean our football team. Yeah, I think we stand a pretty good chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Yeah, it's nice. Sure is cold out here. Your jacket looks really warm. Yeah. Nice that she's so interested in football. Glad she just wants to talk. Jeez, I'm practically throwing myself at him. What's a girl gotta do to get a little affection? You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. Don't worry, little boy. I'll protect you. That works for me. Tonight's gonna be good. No games. That's an awesome girl. Yeah, I like this one. Boys aren't that complicated. after death. Stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. My God, you... You're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something?
endless trouble to kill you this way. Hey, it's okay. You can come out of the water now. It's okay, come on. I'm on your side. Contract? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this. symbol. It must have meant something. I've always been a kleptomaniac. It's not that I was lazy or anything, I was just bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday. 
despite the years I've been trying to forget it. <laughs> My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. and One of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. The inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Lying there on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares a dead-faced hag with rotting flesh. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally get some sleep. Ronan, I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Tell me you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a bell killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is, he's sadistic. One weird thing is that he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case, possible bell killer survivor. Iris Campbell, diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is that a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um... Go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. So I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this.
Sorry, Juliet. I, um, I got some bad news. I, Don't worry, bro. She already knows. Hey, buddy. You on the clock or something? I was. I, uh, worked here ten years. Until I couldn't take it anymore. And ate a gun. Some secrets are... just too heavy to carry. What exactly did you do? Some... landscaping? Mostly grave digging. Pretty much everything you'd expect a groundskeeper to do. You know that's not what I meant. Look... You were once a detective, and I was once a, a humble groundskeeper. Let's just leave it at that. Fine by me, I was just trying to help. You seem a bit jumpy. It sounds crazy, I know, but I've been seeing things I can't explain. Horrible, twisted things. I'm not even sure how I got here. I'm never drinking that much again. Then why stick around? I think there was a woman with me. Maybe my wife. Or my girlfriend. I can't remember much. It's all so hazy. I think I'm waiting for her. You remember her here with you? I think so. She leaned in to kiss me. Then the next moment she's screaming and reaching out for me. Then water. So much water. I'm sure you'll see her again someday. Somewhere nicer than this. Thanks. Hey, kid. Who was the hero? My great-grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gory stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. Hey, I don't know what you're doing, but... Finally! It's about time they sent someone. Look, I think you got the wrong guy. Who were you expecting? <sighs> Who's supposed to maintain this place? I mean, just take a look around. These aren't just rocks, they're reminders. No one else may care, but I refuse to just let mine crumble away. I refuse to be forgotten. Right. Well, good luck with that. Come on, buddy. Leave the poor girl alone. Poor girl? Huh. She and her investigative news team put me on death row. Now hold on a second. Whatever you did put you on death row, not her. Please, if it wasn't for her, they wouldn't have found out. You should have seen the pride in her eyes as they put the bag over my head and pumped me full of chemicals. She likes to pretend that it doesn't bother her, like she's stronger than that. But I know it does. I can see it when she sleeps. So you're haunting her for the rest of her life? No. I'm waiting for her death. And I want a front row seat. Then, we'll have a little talk. Nothing like a good book. Shh, not now. I can't be bothered. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Fine, I'll just look around myself then. 
don't touch anything. If you must know, I'm on the verge of figuring it out, piecing it all together. No offense, but these medical books seem a little out of date. I don't think you're breaking any new ground here. Why would I do that when there's so much old ground that needs figuring out? Let me ask you, do you know what the oldest known melody is? Of course you don't, so I'll just tell you. It's death. And every culture in the world has a book on the subject, usually lost and usually taboo. I've dedicated my life to unraveling the mysteries of death. I'm close, but there's still something missing. Some things are just better off lost. So what was this place? I, I don't know. I heard them say it was some kind of field hospital or something. Please, get me out of here. It's not what they say it is. Not with him here. Who? Dr. Trotter. I, I, I don't understand. What do you mean this wasn't a hospital? What was it? A slaughterhouse. I, I wish I could help. I really do. I'm sorry. You must have been a real scumbag. Actually, I was a war hero once. At least that's what I told people. I'm guessing there's more to the story. Let's just say I embellished on a few bloody stories I overheard in the barracks and made them my own. The next thing I know, people are calling me a hero. How'd you wind up here? I tried to kill the man who threatened to expose me. I knew he was a lush, so I bought a flask and filled it with booze and rat poison. I don't know how, but he found out. The flask was supposed to be a gift, but before I could give it to him, he broke into my place with a few friends and beat me within an inch of my life. I'm guessing this is the last inch. I just wish I could have actually saved some lives. It felt good to be called a hero. You picked a quiet place to study. Did you fall for it too? When are they gonna let me out of here? I'm gonna kill those frat guys once I get out. Well, when was the last time you tried just walking out? Something tells me it'll be easier than you remember. Oh yeah? How's that? The door doesn't open from the inside, genius. You'll figure it out. <laughs> 